I'm now happy that it is not the case anymore that citizens will be contributing 200 shillings to NSSF. That from last month, every Kenyan now will contribute 6% of their pay so that we can progressively build cushion so that we can also eliminate old age poverty. Many of the people that we have on the cash transfer program are former workers, people who worked, but because the culture of saving was absent in their retirement, as you heard uh, Dr. Tuoli say, many people, many people do not survive the first three, or, three months or one year when they get out of work because they do not have a cushion. I am very confident now going forward, we will improve our savings as a percentage of GDP from the current between 8, maybe 10, maybe 11 percent, when other countries like in the West are anywhere between 40 or 50 percent. In fact, some are at 55 percent. 55% saving as a percentage of GDP. We are at about 10. It means we have a long way to go. I am very confident that with the awakening that savings is not a tax. Savings is not a burden. It is your money that you have set aside for that day when you need it desperately and it is the culture we must build. Old age poverty is one of the biggest problems we have in Kenya, and it is contributed significantly because we have not built the culture of savings. And with the new program, I want to urge every Kenyan, even if you are not even if you don't have a salary job, make it your intention to save for tomorrow.